Home of the airwaves, lucky of the orange couch. One more time in 2021. It is the 31st of December. It's the last day of this year. And um, it's a Friday. It is 3.20 p.m. And we're going to record our airwaves before uh, so much happening online. I have to wait for 5 p.m. so that the New Year's uh, hits Sofia. So today, as I promised you yesterday, I'm going to read to you the beginning of my new book, Sober Chaos. Here it is. Introduction. Did you know that 90% of the alcoholics on this planet will die without having read the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous? Did you know that 90% of the alcoholics on this planet will never put their foot in an AA meeting in person or virtual? Did you know that only 10% of the alcoholics who walk on planet Earth will sober up and stay sober until they die, leaving a legacy that it can actually be done. Now, imagine if every alcoholic who still struggles could read a booklet that offers them a two hours digest of the 12 steps program of recovery. You don't have to imagine it because I created it. It is um, on your screen. So something is popping up here. Let me just send it in somewhere. Okay, so now imagine, okay, you don't have to imagine it because I created it. It is in your hands or on your screen. Picture this, you want to quit drinking and you simply cannot. Would you like some help? So why now? Why would you read my masterpiece in this age of infobesity? The truth is that these days, everybody has a voice. Everybody who has a computer or a smartphone or, a phone or an iPad uh, can say whatever they want. In his book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse in 2019, Charlie McKenzie writes, when I was making the book, I often wondered, who on earth am I to be doing this? But as the horse says, the truth is everyone is winging it. Yeah, everyone is truly winging it these days. So I thought to myself, now or never. I didn't want to dump more infobesity. I wanted to make you jump from joy that you got across my modest but brilliant booklet. The only reason I kept postponing publishing my booklet is that I insist on it ending on the 100 classic books list in the 21st century. It had to become a classic, but then I read Annie Lamont. Perfectionism is the voice of the oppressor, the enemy of the people. It will keep you cramped and insane your whole life. Yes, feeling uncomfortably confined and hemmed by the lack of space is one feeling nobody wants to feel. So when I had enough of it, I submitted my manuscript. Why? Because here is what St. Teresa of Avila had to say about that. Christ has no body now on earth, but yours. Yours are the only hands with which he can do his work. Yours are the only feet with which he can go about the world. Yours are the only eyes through which his compassion can shine forth upon a troubled world. Christ has nobody on earth now but yours. And as if the, these were not enough, uh, uh, not good enough reasons to get cracking. Two days ago, I read this quote from Paulo Coelho. One day you will wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. Do it now. This really scared me 
then I thought it's actually not so morbid to think about our mortality. It's actually quite motivating. It is a deadline for sure, and the deadline might be a negative inspiration, but it's still better than no inspiration at all. I want to intrigue you, my dearest uh, reader. That's all. That's the beginning of the introduction. Close, safe. That's for today. We'll see where we get tomorrow. Welcome to the new year. I wish 2022, what an auspicious number will be a wonderful year for you. Me and Lucky have no complaints about 2021. But we had a lot of time to spend at home alone, but it was all worth it. We'll see you tomorrow in the new year. <laughs>